I I, I got to get your opinion on this. So yeah, uh, Wednesday I guess it was they announced that Aaron Rodgers is out because he has tested positive for COVID. He will not be playing against the Chiefs, and of course that line went from a pick to an eight point favorite Kansas City Chiefs. There's an NFL investigation into the protocols at Green Bay right now. Uh, give me give me some thoughts here. I'm not sure exactly what to think of what's happening with uh, with the Packers. Well, I mean, there's nothing happening with the Packers I know of. Rodgers got COVID. Rodgers isn't vaccinated, and so he's automatically out for 10 days no matter what. If he was vaccinated, everyone says, well, there's time. If you were vaccinated, then you can get two negatives and still play. I don't know that he would have played. We've seen too many other guys get COVID that have been vaccinated. The vaccine doesn't stop you from testing positive for COVID. It's not magic. And, and, and so it doesn't help you heal or, not, or test negative faster or sooner than, than you normally would. So, you know, he would have to get two negative tests between basically Thursday and Sunday. And I don't know that you're going to get that. Maybe, maybe you could. I'm not a doctor. I don't understand all shit. But, the the biggest issue is the manipulation of Rodgers is the line. This, this guy, this guy is a piece of shit. Not not because not because he's not vaccinated, but because he lies about it. How much hell did Cole Beasley catch? How much hell did Kirk Cousins catch? And and and, and Carson Wentz catch? And Dak Prescott and, and and Lamar Jackson? How much hell did those guys catch in the off season for for admitting? They're uncomfortable with the vaccine. They don't want to take it. And Rogers just lied. He just says, I'm immune. And now, now he looks at everybody. He's like, well, that doesn't mean vaccinated. Yeah, he like, said, I'm, I'm, Im- I'm immunized, right? <laughs> yeah. You know what you're doing when you say that. You openly lied to everybody. And you know why he did it? Because he's a thin-skinned, cowardice little bitch that cannot take the heat. He can't take criticism, Gary. He just can't. If, uh, this is if, a guy that's been great at everything for so long that nobody has said a bad word about him. Everyone turns a blind eye to the fact that he's a diva and he's a drama queen and he's a piece of trash. And and because he's great at football, yes, he's great at football. He's also a great a asshole. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I don't think you're wrong. Uh, this kind of brings up the stuff that we talked about in the in the preseason. You know about whether or not he would even report to the team. Would he retire? He didn't want to play for the Packers anyway. You know, blah 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 blah. I, I'm curious if we are getting to a point if they force him to become vaccinated. If this becomes a a whole thing, do, do we get to retirement for him? Does he care enough to to deal with this? You got uh, I think he does. I mean, he's made it through the season. What what's going to be alarming is because a outside of the Saints game that they just no one can explain it's week one, they looked unbelievable. Like like last week they looked pretty beatable and they didn't look great, but they got the win. Like they're 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 undefeated outside of that week one season game. I, I just you know, I, I wouldn't walk away from that if I was him. At some point in time you just gotta buckle up buttercup and, 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 and learn how to take the fire. It, I don't know how you teach somebody that if they're just not gonna be that guy, but he, he has been in the league for a long time, and he has been given the softest questions you could possibly make. He's never been challenged on any, really. Everyone loves him, and and it's just one of those things where he's never found the ire of the media, and and now he's going to have to figure out how to handle that. Yeah, it's it's going to be interesting. I, I don't know what to make of the, uh, the Packers-Chiefs game at this point. They... Apparently signed Blake I Bortles. Do. I do. I'd take, the, I'd take the Packers all day long. I don't think Jordan Love is that bad. I really don't. So is is it going to be Love or is it going to be Bortles that comes in? Why would it not be Love? Uh, has he not been dealing with uh, with an injury of some sort? Hell, I don't know. I don't, I don't follow their two deep and three deep <laughs> quarterback at Green Bay. Jesus. You know what? I'm looking it up right now. Right, if it's Blake Bortles, I'll take that back. But if it's Love, I'll take those points. So I know that they signed Bortles, um, but I don't know that they anticipate him necessarily. You know, I, I, well, every team has to have three quarterbacks in the world of COVID, even if you're vaccinated or not. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it, you it can't might be... take a chance of going in. I, 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 well, I, I never even considered my brain that that love wouldn't be the starter. 
It, it looks like uh, they've got Love as second string. There were a lot of reports that they were going to sign Blake Bortles to have him start the game. But we'll, we'll see. I mean, I, I have no idea what to make of this anymore. So I, I, will, I will not be betting it for sure. When it was a pick em, I was all over it. But when I started hearing rumblings about, you know, Aaron Rodgers, I said, mm, hold on. We, we, we might want to wait on this one. So I'm. I mean, I understand wanting to avoid criticism. Like, I totally get nobody openly wants it. But, but man, when you do what he did now, like, and you get caught, like, the benefit of not going through all the COVID stuff before the season started and getting yelled at and then, like, it, it's not going to be close to, to how bad it's going to be when he gets back now. Yeah. And, and I just, this is, this is why lying is a bad deal. When I, was, when I was a young man and when I was a child, I lied. I lied all the time. Every time my feet got to the fire. I got yelled. If I thought I was going to get in trouble, I'd tell a lie. And then I just got older and I realized, man, it's just not worth it. It's just not. You're going to get caught. You're going to get in trouble. It's going to make it way worse. Just own up to shit, okay? And if you got to be an asshole, be an asshole, but own it. Yeah. Yeah, I tend to agree with that. I, I, I think in that situation before the season, he should have not said anything. Because there were a lot of players that said, uh, you know, I'm not going to talk about that. Like, Well, here's the thing. But the problem is everybody who says I'm not going to talk about it is all unvaccinated. <laughs> like, yeah. everybody who's vaccinated is ready to preach that they're vaccinated. Boy, they are swinging that card around. Oh, yeah. No, you, you're right. So, so, you know, the reason he didn't want to do that is because he knew if he said, I don't want to talk about this, or it's none of your business, or something of whatever, he, he, however he handled it, everyone instantly knows you're not vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah, it just becomes a, a weird issue. Like, there's not, well, I take that back. In the NFL, like, people ask about injuries and medical crap all the time. It's just, it's such a weird profession having to ask, you know, medical questions, right? Like, what sports? You play professional athletes. Yeah. This, is, this is not just the NFL doesn't have the copyrights on that. Every league does. Yeah, I know. I know. It's, it's so weird. We live in such a weird time. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.